Hello everyone and welcome back to another match day vlog. We're at home for this one. We're playing Doncaster Rovers. It's the 7.45 kickoff. It's going to be a late one. It's a home game at Stanley, and which means it's definitely going to be a cold one. It is only August, but night games at Stanley are absolutely... They're freezing, basically. It's bad enough in August. It's absolutely treacherous in December, January time. So last time the Reds played, we were at home again. We played Cambridge United and we won 2-1. It was a really good performance. A massively, massively entertaining game. If you haven't seen that vlog, I please, like, please do go and check it out. It was incredible. Uh, just probably one of the most action-packed games that I have seen in a long time long time right so we won last time which means that we're in a pretty good spot in the league we're about 11th for early on in the season three points is massive Doncaster have zero points and they're second from the bottom they were away at Sheffield Wednesday and they lost 2-0 and in my opinion there is nothing worse than a team who needs points because it's very very easy for us to underestimate and not see them as a threat and, the, and then they go and beat us at home. We cannot underestimate them. They'll be they'll be playing the absolute hardest. They have something to prove. We normally have a pretty decent track record against Doncaster. I do hope that continues. So, without further ado, let's get to the Wham Stadium. Come on, you Reds! We've just hit kickoff now. A great turnout from the Doncaster fans for a, a Tuesday night. So massive third play to them. Come on, let's get his three points. 1-0 already! Joe Bridget, a fumble from their keeper! What a massive shock of luck for the Reds this early on! Incredible! I have no idea what happened there. A simple save for their keeper. I'm not sure if he if he got his gloves on it or it, it came off the woodwork and bounced it or what. But what a massive shock of luck this early on. Really poor mistake and unlucky for Doncaster. of a set piece. fortunate there. Yeah, well done Rogers. Push on. Yeah, good tackle. Well in. Well done Rogers. Doncaster on a good counter. Yeah, Rogers, well done. That lad is getting his head on everything tonight. Go on. Ah. Come on, Sean, go to him. Hey, he scuffed that. He absolutely scuffed that. Stuck. Oh, go on. Oh, a good move from D on there. Oh, it's good. Oh, 
so unlucky there. Just into the second half now, let's hope we can do what we failed to do on Saturday and get another goal in this half to kill it off. Go on, Charles! Oh. Bishop! Oh! So unlucky! Whack it! Come on! Oh! So unlucky! Bishop missed the one on one! And it was either Pell or Butcher, I think it was Butcher missed as well. Lecture, we've got a corner. Let's see what we can do. It's good. Oh, come on. He's still in. Oh, just too high for Pell. Just a bit too high. Oh, come on. Get that. Get that. Get that. Oh, corner. Come on. Go on, boys. Either too much or too little on these set pieces, but we've still got it. Of course, Sykes, that's, that's yours all day. Oh. And again, Rogers. Oh. Set piece now for Doncaster, not that you can see much of it. The brightest floodlight in the world seems to be blocking the view. And that has been the story of this half. One man on him by himself. He gets surrounded, he doesn't know what to do, he tries something, he fails. And that has been the story of this half for us. No one's getting up with him. And it's either been Pritchard or it's been Charles. And 88 minutes, and we're making our first sub. Why is it taking this long? And it won't be a sub to get us another goal to make it 2 0. It'll probably be a defender he's bringing on. Making the sub in a minute, he's not ready yet. <laughs> it looks like Joe Mumbongo, the striker on loan from Burnley. So maybe he's pushing for another goal, and I really hope that he is because we need one. Charles Mumbongo, I've got high hopes for this lad, he's looked really good in pre season, but is it going to be too little, too late? for Pritchard as well, a double sub. It's just too late, I think. He should have done this at 70 minutes, 65 minutes, when the game was falling flat on its ass. Not now when it's over. It's basically over. There's, there's no point. It just seems like he's doing it. He's making changes just for the sake of making changes. Right, so we're home now and it was a 1-0 win to the Reds in the end. We got the three points, but I wouldn't necessarily say that we beat them. We just weren't clinical enough. We didn't even score. It was their goalkeeper. And um, the referee and his officials were terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, there should have been a penalty for both teams. He was seeing imaginary fouls. He were giving fouls that um, just weren't fouls and um, he were missing absolute stu like stonewall fouls for both teams not just one of us um, a massive fair play to all the Doncaster fans that came down today they were about um, I'm going to say six or seven hundred and for a Tuesday night and most of you were in the open away and it was rainy it was windy and fair play uh, you were chanting all the way through it so massive fair play to all the Doncaster fans and um, if you're new to the channel please do like this video and consider subscribing to the channel it would mean an absolute lord to me if you did that because um, just one subscription it makes a massive difference it really does and 
one of the best things about doing these videos is that um, you get to interact with the people who watch your videos. So if you've got something um, that you want to say, if you have an opinion, if you want to talk about the game, please do leave a comment on the video. I do get back to everyone and I'd love to have a conversation with some uh, football fans who probably have um, opposite opinions to me. It's one of the best things to do, having uh, discussions with other football fans. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.